Good morning. O oh God, creator of all things, bless the works of our hands as we gather to offer our praise and thanksgiving for all you have done. We welcome all visitors and invite you to join fully in our celebration. Kindly silence your cell phones during Mass. This Mass is offered for the people of St. Francis of Assisi. This must be been offered for the people of St. Francis in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit will be all of you. Hermanos, preparemos para celebrar dignamente el Sagrado Misterio y reconozcamos delante del Señor nuestros pecados. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done, what I have failed to do, to my fall, to my fall, to my most needful fall. Therefore, I ask blessing and every and virgin for the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting light. <clears throat> Lord have mercy. <clears throat> Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of glory. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks with great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin to the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin to the world, mercy on her. For you are the city of the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Señor Dios, de quien nos viene la redención y a quien debemos la filiación adoptiva, protege con bondad a los hijos que tanto amas, para que todos los que creemos en Cristo obtengamos la verdadera libertad y la herencia eterna. Por el Señor Jesucristo, tu Hijo, que reina contigo en el Espíritu Santo y eres un solo Dios por los siglos de los siglos. Amén.
Primera lectura. Lectura del libro del profeta. Esto dice el Señor. A ti, hijo de nombre, te he construido sentinela para la casa de Israel. Cuando escuches una palabra de mi boca, tú se la comunicarás de mi parte. Si yo pronuncio sentinela de muerte contra un hombre porque es malvado y tú no lo has, tú no lo molestas para que sea parte del mal camino, el malvado morirá por tu culpa. Pero yo te di, pediré a ti cuentas de su vida. En cambio, si tú lo molestas para que deje su mal camino y él no lo deja, morirá por su culpa. Pero tú habrás salvado tu vida. Palabra de Dios. Response to Psalm, the response is, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherd, he, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as at Moriah, as in the day of Messiah in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, thou they had seen my works. And if today you hear his voice, hard. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law, the commandment, you shall not commit adultery, you should not kill, you should not steal, you should not covet, and whatever other commandments there may be are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbors as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor, hence love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. According to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go telling him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen to you, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would have the entire or tax collector. Amen, I say to you, 
Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I mean, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are, pray, are to pray, it shall be granted to them by the Heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered in my name, that I am in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Please remain stay. <clears throat> El Señor esté con ustedes. Lectura del Santo Evangelio según San Mateo. En aquel tiempo Jesús dijo a sus discípulos, si tu hermano comete un pecado, ve y amoléstalo a solas. Si te escucha, habrá salvado a tu hermano. Si no te hace caso, hazte acompañar de una o dos personas, para que todo lo que se diga conste por boca de dos o tres testigos. Pero si ni a él si te hace caso, díselo a la comunidad. Y si ni la comunidad le hace caso, apártate de él como de un pagano o de un republicano. Yo les aseguro que todo lo que atiene la tierra quedará atado en el cielo, y todo lo que se atiene en la tierra quedará desatado en el cielo. Yo les aseguro también que si dos de ustedes se ponen de acuerdo para pedir algo, sea lo que fuere, mi Padre Celestial se lo concederá. Pero donde dos o tres se reúnen en mi nombre, ahí estoy en medio de ellos. Palabra del Señor. Gloria a ti, Señor Jesús. Príncipe Today's gospel, today's readings, uh, speak to us about how relationships sometimes can be difficult, especially when we are, our actions and our, our words can offend people or the people. Lectura de hoy nos hablan sobre el evangelio, de que es difícil las relaciones cuando muchas veces ofendemos unos a otros. Whatever this happens in our community, uh, in any relationship, you know, the, that is an effort for some people to ask for forgiveness. I'm sorry, it's my fault. Uh, whatever those, those situ situations are in our lives. But the Lord reminds us, it is through reconciliation and forgiveness that we find in our hearts and our lives really a healthy and a good life between one another. Que no importa lo que sea, o que, que sea la relación, para muchos es un esfuerzo pedir perdón y reconocer realmente nuestras faltas. Why is that important to us? Because if we live in a relationship, that sometimes we see a lot of uh, tension, a lot of lacking of forgiveness, lacking of, you know, of love or trust, that is so difficult. One way. And secondly, that is not Christian. Because as a Christians, the Lord calls us to always love Jesus Christ and love your neighbor. And who is your neighbor? Sometimes it can be your wife, your husband, your friend, your co-worker, your neighbor. Whoever the person is in your life, the Lord calls us to always to love the person like Christ loves us. Que muchas veces el Señor nos llama y nos reconoce que que tenemos que nosotros amar a Dios y a nuestro prójimo en cualquier tipo de relación, porque si no lo hacemos es un poco difícil. Pero how can we understand that? How can we really see that? Our Holy Mother Church give us one of the sacraments, the sacrament of reconciliation, of forgiveness. What happened in this sacrament when you and me eh, recognize our own faults? We ask the Lord to the sacraments, Lord, I'm sorry for my sins, I was not really nice to my, whatever those, those imperfections are. And the Lord, to the sacraments, what he does is to remove all those uh, weakness, all those imperfections from our hearts, and make us to find peace in our lives. Nuestra Madre Iglesia nos da el sacramento de la reconciliación, en el cual nos permite a nosotros reconocer de que a través del perdón, Jesucristo nos llama a vivir una vida más en paz. Um, why is that important to us? Because in the second reading to Paul, the Romans, 
Paul said, brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. Love is what unites us as a Catholics in any kind of relationship. In your family, with your friends, even when you are in, a, in the grocery store, when you are out there, always recognize and know who you are. You are a Catholic. You are a son and daughter of Christ. Que siempre donde quiera que estemos, somos como católicos. Donde quiera que estemos, en la familia, en las, en las tiendas, reconoce que somos, somos cristianos. Because if we don't do that, uh, in our lives, we are not fulfilling our obligations as a Christian. Simple like that. That's why we get together every Sunday around this holy table because that is exactly what the Lord does to the church. He gathered us together around this holy table. He communicates to us to the Holy Scriptures and reminds us who we are, reminds us what is our calling and how we can fulfill that calling in our hearts. Always seek in our heart what is good and what is pleasing to the, to the Lord. The question is, why is sometimes so difficult for some people to do it? Por eso estamos reunidos aquí frente al altar para darle gracias a Dios para que el Señor en la Eucaristía nos reúna y nos ayude a hacer cada día mejores. Pero ¿por qué es difícil para muchos de nosotros entenderlo? Why is that so difficult? Is that difficult for someone who loves Jesus? The point is, if we love Jesus with all our hearts, with all our minds, He guides us and helps us to recognize what is here that needs to be changed. That's why we are Christians. That's why we can hear. Because Christ is the center of our faith. In Christ, we find peace. In Christ, we find forgiveness. In Christ, we find unity. In Christ, we find life in His name. And He calls us every day to do that, to be Christians, to be His disciples. Wherever you are in life, as a married couple, as a family, always pursue those values of Christianity. Kindness, love, forgiveness, compassion, tolerance, all those gifts are given by Christ. But when our hearts are not there with Jesus Christ, it's very hard to see that and to understand who Jesus Christ is and who we are as his people. Not only in the church, in our country, in our place of work, with your family, with your family members, with your friends, Always show the love of Christ. How? Be kind to your friends. Be always a compassion. Be tolerant. Sometimes it's very hard to do that when we don't have those gates in our lives. Que muchas veces es difícil verdaderamente eh, seguir a Cristo cuando en nuestro corazón no tenemos no tenemos compasión ni paciencia. But it is Jesus Christ who helps us. To accomplish that in our lives. But we need to understand that. I came to church every Sunday morning because the Lord has invited me to participate in this Holy Eucharist. It is in the Holy Eucharist that I recognize who Jesus Christ is and who we are as His people. And I am longing for that spiritual nourishment. My heart is longing for you, Lord, because in you I find peace, in you I find kindness, and my heart is full of love and joy. This is who we are. This is who we are. What a beautiful life. What a beautiful to be Catholic. What a beautiful to be here this morning, to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. But we need to understand exactly what we're celebrating here, and how we take what we celebrate here to our hearts, and express it in our family, in our relationships. Que es muy bueno para ellos ser católico, 
que entender qué significa estar aquí en la iglesia y de seguir a Jesucristo. Sometimes the Lord wants there to remind you, I'm here for you, ask and you receive. But sometimes our hearts are not really listening to the Lord. But when we listen to the Lord, He guides us and helps us how to be His friends, how to be His workers for His kingdom. That we all together as a church, we build the kingdom of Christ here among His members. That whatever we do, whatever we say in this community, should reflect the love of Christ in one another. Que todo lo que hagamos refleje que Cristo vive en nosotros. Eso es lo que somos como comunidad. I invite you, whatever in this moment bothers you, whatever you long in right now, when you receive the Holy Eucharist in a minute, I encourage you to ask the Lord Jesus Christ to this Holy Communion. I want you, Lord, to help me how to whatever. Be more patient. Be more kind. Whatever those, those needs are. And I promise you that the Lord will be so wonderful and do amazing things for you and for me and for our community. Te invito cuando reciba la comunión, cualquiera lo que te preocupe en estos momentos, tiene algo que te preocupe, para que le digas a Jesús que te ayude a fortalecer tu corazón y que llene tu corazón de mucha paz y mucho amor. Thank you for being here and let's pray for one another. Pray for our church. Pray for our country. Pray for you. Pray for our families, and also pray for yes, a better relationship with Christ and one another. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, for all things visible and invisible. I believe in Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, for the Father and for all ages. God from God, life and light, to God from God. We got the name, the consistency of the Father. Through him all things were made, for us were made for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit, the Son of the Virgin Mary, we can remain. For our sake, He was crucified and was His mind. He suffered the death and was prepared, and rose again in the third day, and called His most creatures. He ascended into heaven, and exceeded the right hand of the Father, and we have again the only the gifts of the earth and the dead. And His kingdom we have in our name, and we live in the Holy Spirit, the only of our life. Called to be people of holiness and faith, we come to God with our prayers. Is Lord, hear our prayer. For civil servants who strive to end racial inequality and violence, may local leaders lead efforts toward reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for Pope Francis, bury our bishop, all bishops, priests, and deacons, and for all those who call to religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for all those who suffered pain loss in the events of 9-11, may they find comfort in the promise of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. For all those who labor in unhealthy and life-threatening situations, may employees strive to improve their workers' conditions. We pray to the Lord. For all workers in the vineyard of the Lord, may they find joy and fulfillment in their calling. We pray to the Lord. 
Let us pray silently for all our personal needs, lifting up our needs to God's will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear her. That in all knowledge and wisdom, we offer worship and prayers as we gather in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Sisters, the Master who fights in use may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <coughs> Señor Dios, fuente de toda devoción sincera y de la paz, concédenos honrar con estos dones tu majestad, de tal manera que al participar en estos santos misterios, todos quedemos unidos en un mismo sentir. Y es y por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks to our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through His Paschal mystery, He has accomplished the marvel deeds. By which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, people of your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, when you have called us out of darkness into your wonderful light. And so we angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hero of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Santo eres en verdad, Padre, y con razón te alaban todas tus criaturas, ya que por Jesucristo, tu Hijo, Señor nuestro, con la fuerza del Espíritu Santo, das vida y santificas todo. Y congregas a tu pueblo sin cesar. Recuerda que tu sacrificio, un sacrificio de Jalen Sol hasta el ocaso. Por eso, Padre, te suplicamos que santifiques por el mismo Espíritu estos dones que hemos separado para ti. 
de manera que se conviertan en el cuerpo y la sangre de Jesucristo, Hijo tuyo y Señor nuestro. Que le mandó celebrar esos misterios, porque el mismo, la noche en que iba a ser entregado, tomó pan. Y dando gracias, te bendijo, lo partió y lo dio a su discípulo, diciendo, Tomen y coman todos de él, porque esto es mi cuerpo, que será entregado por ustedes. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving it thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the new and eternal covenant, which will put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat his bread and drink his cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come again. The Jose Ramon Pons of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. As we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the blessing of your church and recognize the sacrificial victim by whose death you fit to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are noticed by the name of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an eternal offering to you, to return inheritance we you let, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed Apostle and glorious mothers, and with all the saints in presence in your presence, we rely for unhailing help. <clears throat> so for our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity you picked in church on earth with your servant, Francis of Hope, and better bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen to the prayers of this family when you have some more before you in your compassion, merciful Father, cry to yourself, all your children scattered throughout the world, to other pater brothers and sisters, and to all who will please him to you and the passage from this life, he can admit us to your kingdom, where we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to be throughout the world, all that is good. Por Cristo con él y en él, a ti Dios Padre Onipotente, en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, todo honor y toda gloria por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <clears throat> thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it is not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that we be held in your mercy and be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Amen. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Este es el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo. Dichosos los invitados a la cena del Señor. Lord, Hannah, worthy that you enter into my Ruth. Venemos, Señor, my soul shall be Darkness, 
but we'll have a night of life. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant you faithful, O Lord, who you notice and endow with life to the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, so may benefit from the beloved Son's great gifts, that may marry to an eternal cheer in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. La bendición de Dios Todopoderoso, Padre, Hijo y Espíritu Santo, descienda sobre ustedes. Go forth, the Mass Ascended.